On December 21, 1958, the prototype of the Du-29 aircraft, developed by Dornier for short takeoff and landing, made its maiden flight under the command of chief test pilot Heinrich Schaefer. The experimental aircraft was created in collaboration with the German Aviation Test Center at the request of the German Ministry of Defense. The DOE 29 was designed to research issues related to short takeoff and landing distances with the goal of developing a versatile aircraft for both civilian and military use on unprepared runways. Externally, the DOE 29 resembled the DOE 27 and shared about 70% of its components, but it featured a new fully glazed cockpit, ejection seats for pilots, and stronger structural elements behind the wings. The wings were extended by inserting a 1.2-meter section into the center, increasing the wingspan to 13.2 meters. The tail was also largely based on the DOE 27, with an enlarged rudder. The landing gear was reinforced and attached to the fuselage. The power plant consisted of two Lycoming piston engines and a system for rotating the engine nacelles vertically, a technology Dornier had experience with from the DOE 26. The DOE 29 used a different approach, allowing the rear part of the power plant to rotate the propellers vertically by 90 degrees. The two engines were connected by three transverse drive shafts to synchronize the propellers. If one engine failed, the other could maintain 70% of the total thrust by adjusting the propeller blade angle. The DOE 29 was not aesthetically pleasing, but had several positive features, including its relatively small size. The project aimed to create a short takeoff and landing aircraft with a fixed wing, using either tractor propellers with adjustable airflow or pusher propellers with adjustable vertical positioning. The latter was chosen for the DU-29 due to its superior vertical thrust at very low speeds. Despite initial claims of a cruising speed of 290 km per hour and a minimum speed of 25 km per hour, Flight tests revealed a cruising speed of around 230 km per hour and a minimum speed of about 70 km per hour. There were also issues with synchronizing the rotating drive shafts. Despite these shortcomings, the DU-29 opened new opportunities for Dornier. Only three DU-29 aircraft were built, with two fully completed and flown. The third, partially assembled, is now displayed at the Dornier factory in Friedrichshafen, while the other two are in museums in Munich and Bückeburg. The DU-29 project was influenced by earlier designs, including the FA-269 by Faki Achgelis, which also featured rotating propellers. Additionally, a 1921 patent by Claudius Dornier showed a similar concept with three engines and rotating propellers, aiming for a wide speed range. In 1959, another experimental aircraft project was developed, inspired by Dornier's 1921 patent. This project, known as Flying Machine Propulsion, was patented in the USA and demonstrated similarities to the DU-29. However, Dornier did not pursue this idea further, possibly due to technical challenges and limitations in the German aviation industry at the time.